welcome back to part three of our four-part series on the fundamentals of the golf swing. Uh, part three is entitled stance. Um, I like to use the uh, term ready for action. A um, couple of things that we want to talk about in the, in the stance is the width of your stance and the position of your feet and then also a little bit about balance. Um, your stance in most of your golf shots should be about shoulder width apart and as the club gets longer your stance is going to get slightly wider. So if we're hitting a sand wedge, it's probably going to look something like this. And as we expand out into a driver, it's probably going to look something like this. So um, if your stance is the correct width, it's going to give you the best chance to make the right swing in good balance. If your stance is very narrow, there's a good chance that when you swing, you actually might sway too much or you might actually fall off balance. And then if your stance is much, much too wide, now it's hard to really move your weight around because you're centered over too wide of a stance. So the other thing that we want to keep a, attention to is, is where our weight is placed. If you look at somebody from the side, the, uh, you'd like the weight of their body to be on the balls of their feet, not on their very tiptoes because it looks like they could fall over this way. If their weight is back on their heels, they look like they could fall over backwards. So we're looking to get people in a, in a much better athletic position. So if their feet are shoulder width apart and the weight is on the balls of their feet, they're going to be in a very athletic position to hit a golf ball. Stay tuned tomorrow for part four of Posture.